joined by Phil. Hello. Who has been to see The Order 18... 1886. Yeah, I get that one wrong as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're seeing the uh, the first gameplay of it now, which is this is in game, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you can you can call BS if you like, but it, it, it's genuinely in game stuff. I mean, it, it looks absolutely incredible. It wasn't really on my radar. Yeah. I mean, it was it was on the periphery of my radar, you'd say, because it's Let's an go. exciting PS4 project. But until I saw this in in the flesh, um, running in real time. You know, this this really puts it in perspective. I mean, it it, it looks sort of Naughty Dog quality. Yeah, visually. well, that's that's something that's been rumoured to. It's been nicknamed the first Naughty Dog game for for PS4 because of its its quality. What do you see then in terms of gameplay? So these are the knights that are protecting sort of a steampunk London from kind of half breed werewolf monsters. But you saw them fighting rebels. Yeah, so there's also a rebellion going on. Um, as is the way with games at the moment if there's a neo-Victorian London there's some sort of oppressive regime and some sort of rebellion going on so yeah I didn't see any of the, any of the half-breeds unfortunately but there are plenty of um, of just men with guns um, to shoot at I saw about 15-20 minutes of it in action um, it, during which time there was a lot of um, kind of interactive cutscenes going on and yeah um, and sort of veiled QTEs and things like that, which actually worked very well and, and, and gelled with the more traditional sort of cover shooter stuff. Okay, so we're seeing this is what these, they are the knights, aren't they? They're like. They are the knights of the order, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's unclear whether they are descendants of the original knights of the round table. No, from I think they, are, they are immortal. They found this, well, they found this black water stuff yeah, that's that it. extends their lifespan. Um, but is it really them? Are they the ones from the time of Arthur? Or I, th I think they are. Um, right. Because it. The, the stuff I've read implies that they all look a lot older than they really are like the uh, the girl uh, is it Guinevere? I've forgotten the name now they've all got like Knights of the Round Table names yeah, but the yeah. girl is implied that she's like really really old even though she only looks like 20 something Yeah. so this is this is the action I was quite surprised sort of in a way that it was it was like oh it's just it's a third person shooter yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I sort of don't know what I was expecting because they said it's a third person shooter but yeah. I was surprised like despite looking beautiful it's it's, it's quite traditional isn't yeah. it yeah yeah, and uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's the sort of game. Even if you, if your role in this world was to be the janitor and just sweep up that street, you'd still enjoy it because you just every environment that I saw, I just wanted to take 15 minutes to look around at yeah. everything and and prod the table to make sure that the glasses fell correctly. And and they do actually. The in-game physics is is really really good. We are seeing a lot more on PS4 now. I think this sort of thing where you get this concept art and then the game is the same you don't get a kind <laughs> yeah. of a downgrading quality like you say you get that detail and you get that kind of want to to explore and look around yeah i mean i actually saw um the the, the demo that i saw started off on the rooftops and the draw distance was just insane you mm. could really see for miles it was beautiful um this is one of the sort of qte well yeah. i mean that's that's just a blatant qte there but i think it's 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 multi-path so if you miss one you'll enter a different string of animations yeah. with this guy um and then you've got the option there of whether to do that to him or another equally ghastly thing to him. Yes, I was quite surprised they're not taking any prisoners, are they? No, absolutely not. And then there's this beautiful one-liner from Mr. Beardy. Stop for a pint, did you? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, they, uh, they're an interesting kind of set of characters, aren't they? Because they're quite sort of gruff and, and very sort of... There's almost like a hammer, hammer horror kind of feel to it, or with the, the big moustaches and the, <laughs> the bellowy kind of voices. Yeah, they're all actually... Um, it's full performance capture, as yeah. with um, Beyond, that every actor has gone through. Um, and you know the the interplay between uh, between Lafayette and Grayson that I saw was was really strong, um, well written, and you know they they emote beautifully on on their faces. You know even beneath those gigantic beards. Yeah. So you didn't see any any half breeds. This is a bit of the uh, some of the old footage. I should say that Sony only gave us two minutes of footage with strict instructions that we weren't allowed to use it unedited. Um, but there's, there are monsters. We know there is a supernatural element. They, keep, yeah. they seem to be hiding that and keeping it quite well hidden. So there's obviously like another layer to it that we don't know about yet. That's that, yeah, that's it. I mean, what, what they have revealed so far is this kind of the fantastical element um, in terms of the technology. So there are double zeppelins in the sky and the, yeah. the weapons that they have, like the lightning gun is like a... Nikola Tesla yeah. sort of fantasy and this, weapon. this thing I think is it fires like thermite so it fires like sort of little fireballs like little incendiary rounds and we th I think here it's being you're interacting you're controlling this aren't you Cause yeah like, there's, there's a lot looking of at it yeah in, yeah in a similar way there's a moment when you pull out a, monoc uh, a monocle a monocular yeah. a monocular yeah a monocular that's all it works you're looking around the rooftops and, and it's basically a cutscene but you also are in control of where he yeah. looks 
Yeah, um, and we also we got a rough idea. We think this is going to be out. Um, I think kind of autumn because there was a tweet between uh, Sony Santa Monica's Tim, I've forgotten his name now. He's their head of technology and one of the creative directors at Ready at Dawn talking about autumn. Mm. And Virgil Gar has also said um, that it, it was coming later this year. So it looks like I reckon it'll be out for Christmas. It'll be um, worth the wait. It looks absolutely fantastic. Gameplay is quite traditional, but the visuals should be worth it alone. Cool, okay, there you go. That is the order. There's uh, some more stuff on the site. Any questions, leave a comment, and we will speak to you guys later.